this particular video, we're going to be looking at a very, very important clause, clause 5.4, worker consultation and participation. So let's quickly recap, have a look where we've come from and where we're going to. We've had a look at clause 4 and how it helps us to determine the context of the organization. In this particular clause, we're focusing on clause five, which is leadership and worker participation consultation, and how that drives, informs, and directs all of the other clauses. Now, I trust you'll remember from one of the earlier videos, we spoke about top management's need to create an effective Czech culture within the organization. And although some of these requirements for consultation and participation are very onerous towards a lot of companies and they may feel intimidated by getting employees involved to this level, I don't believe that anything can be more effective to creating a good compliance culture within your organization than effective worker consultation and participation. So let's have a look at clause 5.4. First off, let's have a look at the definitions of consultation and participation. So consultation of workers means you're asking their perspective and opinion before you make a decision. So that's consultation. Participation, on the other hand, is that the workers are actively involved in the decision-making process. So let's have a look at consultation where you're asking the workers their perspective, their opinion before making a decision. So workers are required to be consulted on the needs and expectations of workers and interested parties. They're required to be consulted on the determination, the establishment of your Czech policy and the various different commitments that you make. They must be consulted on roles, responsibilities and authorities, on legal requirements and how the organization is going to fulfill them. They should be consulted on the establishment of Czech objectives, on the management or the controls of external providers, contractors and out sourcing. Your check monitoring and measuring, they should be consulted on your auditing program and also on continual improvement. So you can see there's a large amount of consultation that should take place with regards to workers. Now again here, participation where they're actively involved in the decision making process. I trust that you'll see that many of the things or many of the requirements that are in this particular clause already echo the sentiments that are created in the legal framework that we have. So in participation, actively involved in the decision making process, they shall be part, they shall shall participate in the mechanisms for consultation and participation. They shall participate in hazard identification, risk assessment, determination of controls. They shall participate in the determination of competencies and training and how the effectiveness of training is established within an organization. They'll participate in check communication and again which also echoes the sentiments of our legal framework already is that worker representatives or workers should be involved in incident investigation. So that's just an overview of clause 5.4, very important clause on consultation and participation of work for workers and how that fits into clause 5 which then drives, leads and directs the rest of the clauses. That's all part of the road to Sheck certification. We trust that you enjoyed this video.